South of the European continent, a group of islands emerges in the Mediterranean, near the Iberian Peninsula, the Balearics. They form an ensemble made up of four principal islands. Two of them constitute a totally separate entity. Ibiza is the third largest of the Balearic Islands. It is accompanied by its smaller and surprisingly flat neighbor, Formentera. A number of tiny islets are sprinkled here and there between these two. All these islands are actually the peaks of an underwater mountain chain. Ibiza and Formentera belong to an archipelago known since antiquity under the name of Pitiusas, a term invented by the Greek sailors when they drew alongside these very green isles. Pitiusas in ancient Greek denotes an island covered with pines. Coniferous trees still abound, but they share the land with other vegetation typical of Mediterranean flora. The wildlife of the Pitiusas would be very sparse if it weren't for wild birds who make their stop here in great numbers during their seasonal migrations. Since 2000 BC, the islands have served as an intermediary stop for several cultures. The Phoenicians preceded the Carthaginians and very quickly successive populations sought protection from foreign threats. Fortifications began appearing from the Middle Ages. In 1983, the Balearics became a self-governing Spanish community, three years before Spain became part of the European Union. North Africa is relatively close. The Muslim influence has made itself felt, even in the traditional habitat. The limestone walls have earned Ibiza the nickname White Island. Population shifts were first limited to the Mediterranean Sea, but after the fall of the Roman Empire, people from German origin added their lighter colouring to the physiognomy of the Mediterraneans. Around 40 years ago, Ibiza experienced a wave of immigrants due to a movement born in the United States during the Vietnam War. These expatriates challenged the established order and advocated moral freedom. With their long, unruly hair and pacifist ideologies, these hippies brought their taste for Eastern philosophies and products derived from their craft industry. The hallucinogenic substances offered a different view of the world, providing psychedelic nuances. The community spirit of the hippies and their sense of celebration attracted numerous followers, a state of mind actually found in local traditions. North African influences are very visible, especially in how people dress. They became even stronger after the island of Ibiza had converted to Christianity. Most of the churches didn't appear until the 18th century. The original forest has receded everywhere due to agriculture, as the island's landscape confirms. Despite new techniques and intensive farming methods, the agricultural sector ensures only one tiny percent of the gross domestic product. <laughs> 700 BC, Ibiza already had a port. Its deep waters enabled heavy ships to approach without difficulty. Today, the boats come from all over the Mediterranean basin. Ibiza lacks natural resources, and supplying the island with drinking water is a recurrent problem. And yet, the island has experienced a boost of vitality from its international airport, for example. The infrastructures are able to receive significant numbers of passengers, if we add the number of visitors in a single year, you'd have to multiply the local population by at least 40. From the 1960s, Ibiza's notoriety grew. Land along the coast was cheap, so the coastline was quickly transformed to welcome those seeking rest and relaxation. Open-mindedness and hospitable shores, you didn't need more to create a phenomenon. Some believed it would be a passing fad, but the success continued. 
and tourism today is by far Ibiza's leading industry and main source of wealth.